The teenager who was dying from a rare cancer used the internet to investigate cryonics. Her mother supported her wish to be frozen, but not her father, who she hadn't seen in eight years. Because she was under 18, the case went to court. The girl wrote this message. I have been asked to explain why I want this unusual thing done. I'm only 14 years old and I don't want to die, but I know I'm going to die. I think being cryopreserved gives me a chance to be cured and woken up. Even in hundreds of years' time, I don't want to be buried underground. I want to live and live longer. And I think that in the future, they may find a cure for my cancer and wake me up. I want to have this chance. This is my wish. The judge said this case was the result of a tragic combination of childhood illness and family conflict. He said the girl had a right to know before her death whether her wishes would be followed. He stressed the case was not about whether cryonic preservation had any scientific basis, and nor was the court encouraging it. Human embryos can be cryopreserved for years and then used in fertility treatment, but more complex, larger structures seem beyond current science. What we haven't been able to do is to cryopreserve large structures such as a single human organ, a kidney for transplantation, and therefore a whole human body is an order of magnitude larger and we can't meet that challenge yet. The judge visited the girl in hospital and said he was moved by the valiant way she was facing her predicament. But the voluntary organisation that prepared her body for cryonic preservation was said to be under-equipped and disorganised, causing real concern to medical and mortuary staff. Her body was then sent to the United States. This company in Arizona is one of those offering long-term cryogenic storage in liquid nitrogen tanks. 10 Britons are believed to have their bodies frozen in the US in the hope of resurrection. Fergus Walsh, BBC News.